and welcome back to the channel. Guess who I have with me? The one and only of the wifey. Hello. You guys been asking when she's gonna come back and do another review. So uh this is the review. This is the review I've been talking about the other night. The big review, man. This bad boy. A Nintendo Switch. Y'all, we've been having some fun with this, but uh we got a lot to show you guys, so Grab a popcorn, grab a beverage, a drink, because this is going to be, I don't know, not a long review, but a good review. We got two games we're going to showcase you guys. One has been The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The second one is Super Mario Odyssey. Both great games. Um, we got a accessory to show you guys, which is Traveling Case. And we got an extra controller we're going to show you guys, too. So let's get this thing started, man. So last month... We purchased this last month. Um, Emily's not a hardcore gamer like me. So we had to figure out something to get her back into the gaming mood. And the thing that caught my eye about the Nintendo Switch was it was a platform that was made for her. It really was. So we went out and we bought the Nintendo Switch. So we're gonna unbox this thing now. I threw everything back in the box with dramatic effects because we've been using this thing hard body. I know I have been. So let's I've open it. Oh, you been using it? Well, yeah, I pretty much beat the whole Mario Odyssey game. All right, so here we go, guys. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know right now that the Nintendo Switch we bought had the great joy cons uh, a friend of my, a friend of ours wanted the the great joy yep. cons so we got mom mom we got our little snippet to them <laughs> in the uh, shop but she wanted the great joy cons so my wife wanted the neon so they swapped so, uh, pretty much all right that makes sense so anyway i'm gonna get these out like i said i threw everything back in the box of dramatic effect we've been using this thing for about a month but um this is what you get two joy cons like i said these are the neon ones they did come with the gray but they swapped out so you click them into place like that there's your screen that's what it looks like all right so that's what it looks like all right so in the box you'll get the little micro the micro c type c adapter to charge everything all right so you have the dock which this also charges it as well right. when you're playing it on like your regular tv mm -hmm. it'll charge it as you're playing so you don't necessarily need this necessarily you could just take this when you're on the go right right for real and it does come with an hdmi cable good look nintendo it does come with one of those and, and then it comes with these that wraps around your wishes wrist <laughs> wrist no editing allowed wrist like so you know if you're playing the i think it's what is it arms is one of the good games arms to have one. these for so you can attach them as you're playing so you don't lose right. the controller one two switch will be another one so you play one two switch yeah pretty much any stuff. game that involves like i know there's a lot of different types of games super mario super these. mario odyssey is a game that if yeah if you're playing with too. two people Cause like if we play mario together yeah Cappy, so you would need those but i would use these more or less if you have like little kids right Right. Adults really don't need these, but they're nice to have though, especially like if our nieces come over, they can play it as well. So, I'm going to throw the box down here, but let's get, into, let's get into the hardware of this thing, because there's been a lot of people that come up to me at work and want to know a lot of information pertaining to this Nintendo Switch, and the number one question I get is, Will the Nintendo Switch be a flop like the uh, the Wii U? And I want to tell you guys, no. This console, since it's been out earlier this year, has been the most sought after thing on the market. And now that it's been close to the holidays, Christmas is like right around the corner. This is the most sought after system right now. I have all three consoles now. I have the PS4, the Xbox One S, and now the Nintendo Switch. And to be honest, since we bought this, what, last month, babe, I think it was, last month, I've been playing this. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I've been playing the Call of Duties, um, Overwatch, WWE 2K18, but mainly I've been gaming on this thing, to be honest. I have not been on my PS4 like I normally been. 
I've been addicted to the Switch. And the one game that kind of drew me in and being addicted to the Switch had to be Super Mario Odyssey. This game is epic. And we still, like, we beat the main campaign of it, but we have not yeah. yet found all the moons. Still have to find. There's how many moons? Over. I know. But there's a lot nine of moons. something. There's a lot. <laughs> it's nine something. But um, it's still a lot to do yeah. even after you beat the game. I mean, this game is epic. And, yeah, I don't want to give anything away, but, yeah, it's a really good game to have. It's really fun. It's, so. We don't really game together. We haven't had a chance to game together on it. Hopefully we do. But I've been gaming on it by myself. And, like I said, I beat the whole campaign of it. But there's so many stars in every level you can find secret levels everywhere matter of fact that I, have moved. matter of fact just the other night i popped that back into the switch and i went back to uh new donk city i think it's called mm -hmm. and i was just rolling around and i found like moons at the weirdest location so that game and some of the moons are really tricky to get like you have to it's like time consuming to get the moon oh yeah especially oh, yeah. on the one i can't remember the name of the level but i still can't get that damn moon i really can't like to be honest with you guys, the Switch right now, like, I know it's still a lot of pros and the cons to having this console, but to me, the pros kind of way outweigh the cons, if that makes sense. I mean, the Nintendo Switch, yeah, it's not going to have those, those high-definition graphics like the Xbox One S, the PS4, but, I mean, it's one of those family consoles. But even, like... You even though it's like a family console, the graphics on the games are really good though. Oh yeah. Like. Oh yeah. I mean, I haven't had a chance to play Zelda. We just recently picked up Zelda. Oh yeah, just, so yeah, just about Zelda. we've had well when we got the Switch, we had the um we got to try out Mario the, Kart. Um, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. And I mean, it's something that I mean I like it, but it's more of like you would have to also I mean, like have a whole bunch of players to play it. Right. Um, I'm trying to think. What else? I'll be right back, guys. I got to grab, uh, I got to grab something real quick. Okay. This is live, by the way. There's no editing allowed. But I mean, it's it's something cool to have, especially like for the family and everything. All right, I'm coming back in shot, guys. Yeah, um, this got to grab this. Alright, so, yesterday, was it, was it yesterday? No, Friday. Wait, wait, Friday. Wait, 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 wait. It's Friday, yeah. So, Friday, I picked up um, that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, for 60 bucks, you can, get, you can get just the game by itself, but I ended up getting this with it for $60. This has a big old thick book in it, and it has a map. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can take it out. It has a big old thick book, which that book is cool, guys. That book is really cool. I have not yet had a chance to sit down and like read it from page to page. So basically it tells you the journey and the story of the game basically? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just didn't have a chance to like sit down and read this. But if you can find this, buy it. I didn't even look at this. And yeah, she just got the game. I just got it on Friday. She didn't look at none of it. So look. And you got the map. That's cool. So this is basically probably like the map of the game and it tells you mm -hmm. From start like, to end. Look how they like weathered it and make yeah, it look like an old, like a old, map. old map. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And it's really, it's got texture to it. It's like, a, yeah. it's like soft, kind of making it like an old type feeling map. That's mm -hmm. pretty cool though. And this is called the, uh, this is about the mm -hmm. it's, it's called the uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Explorers Edition. If you can find this, get this for 60 bucks. It's the same price that you would pay if you would just get, um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild by, uh, pretty much by itself. Get this. Alright. I bought the last one they had of this. So, like I said, with the holiday season is rolling around, man, these consoles are going fast. And some of the games that they're coming out with, they're going fast too. And that brings me to another question as um, far as the game selections are, uh, are pretty much concerned. Um, like I said, I play Call of Duty World War II a lot. Um, I remember back then when the Wii came to the scene they did produce a call of duty game but it really wasn't um it really wasn't a call of duty that everybody liked like on xbox or ps4 but with the nintendo switch now out who knows what's gonna happen come next year with the nintendo switch and call of duty 
I, honestly, I would love to see them do another uh, Call of Duty on this thing. I, I really would love for them to do it. Sorry about this, Larry, guys. Um, I really would love to see a new uh, card uh, actually available for the Switch, man. Um, the games, like right now, like I said, you got uh, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, Mario Kart 8, Deluxe. The games are pretty cool. The games are pretty cool. And um, to the older crowd, like myself, uh, if you're into like the old school retro gaming, the Switch is definitely for you. Um, under Pretty much under the Nintendo eShop. I want to show you guys. Um, I don't know, maybe let me turn the screen down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm so, basically, on the Nintendo eShop, if you're an old school gamer like me, you like a lot of the retro uh, shooters and stuff like that, you will find them on here. Um, they're constantly updating the store left and right. Um, I don't know how often they update the uh, Nintendo eStore, but they do update it constantly. So this is something that you should have if you're an old school gamer head like myself. Um, I have not purchased any uh, digital games right now. Um, we don't have an SD card in here as of yet. Um, it comes with 32 gigabytes of storage on board, but eventually you will run out of space on board and have to get a micro SD card. Right now, we don't have one because we only like playing two games, and that's Super Mario Odyssey and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But um, eventually, we will be playing more games, so come more games, come more um, stores that we have to buy. So, oh man, I'm dreading that day because those cards, those cards are expensive. And um, this thing is a touchscreen too, so it's basically, I'm trying to get in the shot. So basically, it is touchscreen, just a little little mini tablet, tablet deal so um like i said the joy cons do attach so she can play a game i can play a game with her and whatnot um some of the games are a little on the pricey side it just depends on what you want to play um a lot of the games on the cheaper side so it just depends but um to me the nintendo switch is worth every penny 2.99.99 is worth it um i know a lot of black friday sales will have come and gone um, Xbox did theirs, Sony did theirs, but Nintendo did not budge on $299. And to be honest with you guys, $299 is, is a bad price. Terrible. Yeah, they go there. It's bad. But um, $299 is a pretty fair price for a console um, like that, guys. I, I mean, I like it for what it is. I take this thing almost everywhere that we go. If I can find a use to like take it, I don't want it to sit and be bored. Um, certain places that we go to like she was getting her nails done the other day. I actually took the switch <laughs> I took the switch. I'm not gonna be sitting in the nail salon Watching people get their nails done being bored probably going to sleep when I could be gaming So I took the switch with me. Um, there is kind of like one gripe I do have about the switch, but I mean it's not a big gripe It's like a nitpick gripe and that's you can't use Bluetooth earphones with this you cannot um, it does have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the top where you put a little cartridge in. Who is that? Hey, what's going on? Um, it does have the, the little slide at the top where you put a cartridge in. That's where the 3.5 millimeter headphone that jack uh, is at. Um, but yeah, I wish like Nintendo would put um, some kind of a Bluetooth feature where I have Bluetooth headphones, man. That would that'd be cool. What do you look for? Nothing, I'm just looking at it. Oh. But yeah, that's like my only gripe. Um, another gripe, the battery life isn't that good. I mean, I forgot like the time frame that you can get out of the battery, but I play the Switch mostly without the dock. But I mean, yeah, even though the battery's not that good, you know, most consoles that you have will probably just die on you. True. This one actually alerts you that lets you know when the battery's getting low. True. True. So. True. I mean, it's, 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 it's a give or take thing. Um, another thing I want to talk about the Switch that a lot of people are asking me about this holiday season. Um, you know, that new 3DS XL don't came out. Excuse me. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty cool console, man. It, it, it's, a, it's a pretty cool console. Um, let's see, another question I want to answer that a lot of people have been asking me while I work about the Nintendo Switch. Um, you know, the new 3DS XL 
um, just came out. They had a link, uh, a link to the yes that just came out. But I tell people, this is ten times better than the 3DS XL or the 2DS. I mean, for the holiday season. I know for $79.99 you can get a Link edition and come with a pre-installed copy of Link on the 2DS. But to be honest, I think the age of 2DS and 3DS, I don't want to say it's coming to a close. Um, but some of the games are coming to a close on that console. You have Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Those are the last two Pokemon games they're making for that handheld device. And I'm hearing the next installment, which should be coming out hopefully sometime next year, will be making its way on the Nintendo Switch. So, I'm a Pokemon gamer. I haven't played Pokemon since, what, <laughs> blue, red, and yellow? So, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm my age right now. Um, but I'm a Pokemon gamer. So, if they make Pokemon on the Switch, I'm damn sure I'm putting a pre-order down for it. I mean, it just, it just give or take. I got to put a pre-order down for Pokemon on the Switch. I mean, why not? But for the most part, I don't really use this while we're at home. I don't use the dock at all. I use more handheld than anything because sometimes it just be me here and she'd be at work. But um, most of the time, like I said, I'm on the Switch more than I'm on my PS4 or my Xbox One S. And it's just how it is. And um, it's cool about the carrying case too. Yeah. Like you have different compartments. Oh, oh yeah. I won't show that. You have different compartments in it. What is, oh, wait, that's just to hold the thing, right? Just, yeah, I think this can hold at least up to, like, 50 games in it or so. Yeah, it's got the little slots right here. So this is what we stored in when we're taking it on the go. This is what we put in it. And actually, I got this uh, free from actually a customer that came in and actually just gave me that. So that's kind of cool. That's yeah. like a $20 value case. I mean, I don't think they go in price more than that. I know they have like this big old travel like thing. You think that's well, like they have the one carrying case that's got like Mario on it because yeah, of the game. Yep, and yep, stuff, so. yep, they got like Mario. They, they have a Mario Odyssey one. They have a Zelda. They have a Splatoon. Um, all of them are still 20 bucks though. That's just yeah. the, the, the. I mean, basic. it's nice to have, especially if you do like a lot of traveling with little kids. Mm -hmm. They can always keep it in here. And, and that's what a that's what a customer asked me too uh, two weeks ago. She came in, and she was saying how she got a bunch of kids and how she got a gamer in the family out of those kids. I mean, if you're gonna buy something for one, you know you have to buy for all. This is how it is. So I told her buying the Nintendo Switch would kind of kill two birds with one stone because you got two Joy Cons, so you pretty much got two controllers right here to get you started. And that's what I forgot to show you guys. I forgot to show you guys. The um the little grip, but um also got this free too, believe it or not. The grip bag. Uh, the grip too. Oh. I can go around it. You want to go around it real quick? Yeah. All right. So this is a this is almost equivalent to the Pro Controller that costs like eighty bucks that Nintendo is selling. Um the the Pro Controller is nice, but this is like the wired version of it, like an aftermarket version of that controller. I'll show you guys that. So this looks. Just like a basic um, Xbox controller, PlayStation 4, more more looks like uh, Xbox than anything like the, the design of it. But yeah, that's the little that's the little grip, alright? That's what the Joy-Cons will slide into and you can have almost something like a full actual Like an actual controller. controller. Yeah. I would use that. I mean, it's I mean, it's, it's nice. Right. It's, it's small, right. but I mean, I, I like it. Really, singers? Snickers have to be, she has to be, sorry guys, I'm a <laughs> kitty, it's all in the Why shot. Why are you in the but shot? Anyway guys, uh, what else I can say about this thing, man? I mean, I like it. It's just nice to have. What do you think, babe? I, mean, I like it. It's something that when he's playing, you know, Call of Duty with his buddies and stuff, I have something that I can play so I'm not just sitting there being bored. I can actually play the Switch. Um, I do want to purchase more games for it though, because like I said, I already beat this. Still got more moves. I don't know. I want to try to get into this, but I really don't know if I will. I mean, I let me get you a little bit back. Um, like my brother grew up playing Zelda, so and I'm not really that big of a gamer. I do like Mario though, so Mario is like one of my all-time favorites. Like I'm even thinking about purchasing a GameCube just so I can play. Super Mario Sunshine, because I grew up playing Super Mario Sunshine, and I never got to beat the game, because 
we ended up, I think my brother ended up selling the console or something. So, I want to make a purchase and get that. So that's probably going to be the next console that we make a purchase on. Because I really want to get it. Because there's a lot of games that you can play on it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, um, another thing I want to add about the Switch, it's kind of like all over the place because when I was making this video, I really didn't have like a, <laughs> like a chalkboard with yeah, what I wanted to talk about. The but, but, um, another thing I want to say, if you're going to make a purchase of the Nintendo Switch, guys, please do not put no skins on this thing. And what I mean by skins, there are certain, um, things you can purchase like that carrying case. Um, they do make a, like a Zelda or Super Mario Odyssey one. I think the Zelda one is the one that comes with the with the skins. I do believe because that was the first game to get launched on the Switch when it first uh, came out. Do not put no skins on this because when you go to put a skin on this and you go to like peel it off, it will take the paint off this and the Joy Cons, mm -hmm. everything. It will come off. Trust me. If you don't believe me? Look it up on YouTube. That's how I found out this information. Okay? Don't skin this thing. Also, another thing is when you do purchase this, if you do make a purchase on it, make sure you get a screen protector for the screen. And just like if you have animals or if you have kids, it's, you know, it's easy to scratch that. So you would want to get a screen protector just to protect it for mm -hmm. anything, really. We have two cats, so you never know. We try to keep it up because the little cat, she likes to chew on stuff. She's like a dog. But we have to keep everything up from her, so... That's basically why we got a screen protector, just in case we like fall asleep and put it like on the nightstand or something, and she messes with it. She don't necessarily scratch the screen; she just scratches the screen protector on it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it's always nice to have something to protect the screen, just like you would your cell phone or something, you know. Right, right. And and don't get me wrong, the the Nintendo Switch is a investment. It's a console, so it of course it's gonna be an investment. This thing was like over what three something? Yeah, it was about three. Three something is all said mm -hmm. and done. Factor in the game. Is this the receipt? Um. Oh. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, it was about three oh eight. Yeah. I mean, like it's I said, really not even that bad of a purchase, really. No, I mean, this is cheaper, honestly, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is cheaper than buying a PlayStation Four right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, Black Friday, they had PlayStation 4 going out the door for $199. Now they I got mean, we could have waited until Black Friday to get it, but we made it the purchase way before Black Friday. Yeah, but see, the thing about it, Nintendo did not want to do a Black Friday. Do a Black so, Friday for it? No, nah, they, oh. they opted out. They did Nintendo said no. Nah. <laughs> they said no. Nah. I mean, $299 is a good price point, y'all. You can get this cheaper than you can get a PlayStation 4 right now. And it, and, it's it. and it comes with a lot more. Like, the PlayStation 4 is like a play, like the console and you get a basic. controller. You get basic. But this comes with, like, this This, this everything, comes with really. everything to get you started. So, you can say you're getting two controllers out of the box for you and a person to play. Right. Um, the thing you're not getting out of the box to get you started is a game. Now they Didn't do, they have the pack though? You bought um, the console with the game. You got Super like Mario the Super Odyssey. Mario. Super Mario Odyssey was the first bundle right. that they released. And they had the bundle, so right. you could have got the bundle with the game, or you could have just got the console itself. Right. But I mean, we just got the we console, got the console by then, itself, and then we yeah. purchased the game. Which I mean, it's still a good investment. I mean, right now the reason why I purchased uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you guys, because this game is gonna keep me busy for a while. To be honest, I mean. I know there's plenty more I mean, games. I want to get into it too. Right. You know? I know there's plenty more games out there that we can buy, but with these two games right now, this is kind of keeping us busy. First, we're working all the time, so it's kind of like when I do have a downtime to really play a game, I'm more on my Switch than I am on my bigger console. Right. And my only downtime is the weekend because I work Monday through Friday. So. Right. And. So. Sucks when you're an overnight manager. Hey. <laughs> work during the night and sleep during the day. Right. So, right. this is my only downtime is the weekends is when I can actually sit down and relax and enjoy playing a game or, you know, just doing whatever. And like I said, you guys were asking, you know, when would Emily be back to do another review? I do believe the last review we did on anything it's tech. like 2012 or something. Oh, it was a like while. 2013 it was like the or something. The Joy Razor Max days, I think it was, we had bought and we sat down. Was that that wasn't and, necessarily the last oh, video we did together. Because right. we did like the cinnamon challenge together. Oh, we did the Chubby, Chubby Bunny challenge. Oh. And, um, and, 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 and that's another thing. That's why I was talking yeah, to you guys like, the other night that we're going to get this channel 
back to that. We want to do that. What is that? The one chip challenge. Yeah, I'll call we want to do that. that too. Yeah, we yeah. Wanna, yeah, we want to get this challenge. And it's not necessarily just going to be like about games and stuff. No, really. like we can no. do challenges and stuff. Like no. I really want to get back into YouTube. I what? just, it's just hard when, like I said, I'm an overnight manager, so it's hard for me to mm -hmm. do stuff on YouTube when I work at night and then I sleep during the day. So yeah, it's, it's, my it's, like we would have to do it around like. Either like Saturday or Sunday would probably be like the time that we would actually be able to sit down and do a video together. Right. Because just of my work schedule, I work. I mean, you know, my hours are crazy. I mean, this channel, guys, like this channel, like I went back and was just looking at certain things I used to do. This channel has been raking in some views. Yeah. Like, since then, especially on the WWE side of things. So that's why I was just sitting here thinking, like, you know. It's time for me to bring all that back. I, you know, I've been hearing you guys. I mean, you guys have been hitting me up on the Twitter. You guys have been leaving me good comments, minus the negative stuff. But out of all that, guys, I'm going to bring True Entertainment back to you guys, the way you guys are used to seeing it, the way you guys want to see it. In the future, we're going to get this channel to grow. Right now, we're sitting at, what, like 1,290-something subscribers? Let's, let's, let's pick that up. Yeah, let's, like, you guys want to subscribe, subscribe. If let's not, you know, it, up. it ain't going to hurt me none. No, not really. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> but at the same time, man, I want to be able to come on here and entertain you guys like you always be telling me on the yeah. live streams. I want to be able to buy more stuff to review. Uh, buying, buying tech stuff like this is expensive. That's kind of one reason why when I was doing a tech talk years ago, I kind of stopped because... I couldn't keep up with all the newest stuff they dropped. Like every month, something was dropping. And we're gonna be getting something big too, so we could do that too when we get it. Oh yeah. When we make the next, when, when we make oh, our yeah. next big purchase. Oh yeah. So. so yeah, it is another big purchase coming up. Yeah. yeah. So hey, so like I said, you guys wanna stay in the know, subscribe, turn the notification bells on, follow me on Twitter at Mr. John Bradley. I'll be over there twenty four seven <laughs> tweeting stuff. That's how you guys know what I'm about to do before I do it here on the YouTube. Um, you guys want to see more of the wifey. She will be on this channel when she can. I promise you that. And a lot of people been asking about why don't you game with me doing my live streams. Well, because when <laughs> most of the times when he does the live streams, I'm not here. I'm at work. Right. Or I'm sleeping. Right. I mean, I can do the live stream with you when you game. I yeah. mean, fine with me. I guess, I, I don't care. <laughs> if, if, if you guys want to see the wife game with me, it, it, it will happen. I promise you it will happen. Um, I had a couple games. I, I mean, there's not players. even really any games that you have that are two players, for real. Oh, more Mortal Kombat and Injustice True. 2. WWE 2K18, both 17 and 18. So, I got a few games I can kick your butt in. I, mm -hmm. I, I got a few. We already did that once, and I beat your ass. And, um, what was it? What was that game? Mortal Kombat? Or was it? I can't remember. It's one of those fighting games. I can't remember. I, I got so. And honestly, guys, honestly, I I got so many games I need to show you guys that I purchased since my collection has went from this to like this. I mean, it's no. I mean, I don't know. And like now, there's a couple games out. Like The Sims 4 is one that I've been wanting to get, but I'm just gonna hold off before I purchase that. Um. There's a lot of games out I have not purchased. Uh, what is it was Assassin's Creed Origins I have not purchased. Um, the new Need for Speed Payback I have not purchased that either. The last brand new game that I think we purchased was the Call of Duty World War II. And then Super Mario Odyssey, Zelda, and of course the Switch. So well, the last two ones that we purchased <laughs> was Call of Duty and Zelda. Those yeah. were the very last two that we just recently got. Yeah. Yeah, and then everything else is just been falling out of wayside. It's not. And that I, I do want to go and see like other games. Like I know the arms game they have for the Switch, but I don't know if I would get into that. I could. I, mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna rent the Rumble Box. But back in the day. Well, that's in your time, so <laughs> I mean, I've never even heard of that game. See. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't oh, know. Man. There is a lot of games that I would. I don't know, cause what is the next? Have they even released any games for the Switch? Like, oh yeah. Talk about um, what's gonna come out. LA, I could have swore that there was a Yoshi game that was coming out for the Switch. I don't know. I don't if, know where I, mean, I got that from, but I could have swore someone said that there was a game if that was about Yoshi. No, I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it with you. Nintendo sees the sales of these consoles. They see the sales of Super Mario Odyssey, uh, Link, uh, Zelda, which is Link. 
they're going to produce more uh, Nintendo-based games. Yoshi should be one that's coming. Kirby should be another Isn't one. Isn't Kirby already out there? No, they, they have not done a Kirby yet. No. Mm -hmm. Nope. No Yoshi, no Kirby, no Luigi. You know, Luigi going to have to have a game somewhere here. I mean, can we get a... Possibly because he has, what, Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube? Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So, but then again, you know what? You, Luigi's not even really in uh, Odyssey, though. They never no. even brought, they never even no. put him in the game. His costume's so, in there that you can buy. But then again, that's weird though, so why would they have a, his costume in there, but they wouldn't have him in there? Unless he's in here somewhere and you just gotta find him. Maybe, I don't know, I mean, there's a lot to discover. I don't know, there's a lot more that you have to do on this game, even though, like I said, I beat the campaign in the game, because I was playing it hard when we got it. Yeah, she was, she was, so, she was, she was hard on I mean, I played a little bit when she wasn't around. Right. I was playing Odyssey a little bit, and for the time I played with it, I enjoy it. Yeah, it's a good game. I it's enjoy a really, it. I think that if you get the Nintendo Switch to really purchase this one, this one. one and um Mario Kart is a good one. Yeah. I haven't like I said, I haven't got a chance to play Zelda yet. I'll probably will probably by the end of the night or something. I'll try it and see if I like it. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Well, guys, this has been our review of the Nintendo Switch set and unboxing the video. Um if you guys are on the fence about the Nintendo Switch, like I said, Rewatch this live stream as you, it becomes available in your area. Um, there's a lot of videos out about a Nintendo Switch. Um, I will continue to do more Nintendo Switch product reviews for you guys, depending on what else I decide to pick up at a later date and time. Um, there will be more games I'm going to pick up for this. I promise you there's going to be more games. So as soon as I pick up another game, I will try to review it and let you guys know if it's worth it. Um, Super Mario Odyssey and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, um, I will kind of go in detail into it a little bit more in a later video if you guys want me to, if not, then hey, could it, even it, actually, you know what we could do, we could actually do like a gameplay of them, once we get like into the game more, like, sure. Odyssey, we could definitely do a gameplay of this one, because we know like the ins and outs of the game, sure. so we know like this what one, to expect. This one right here, <laughs> <laughs> that one we probably need to get, but even, you know what, you could even do a game review on it starting from whatever chapter and on. I don't, honestly, I just started this Friday, Friday night. I think I played about, about, I don't know, a good hour and a half of this because I have to work so much. And I still, I, I don't think I still scraped the surface of this game yet. The map is huge. I mean, you've seen the map that my wife held up. That is the whole game, like yeah. you can climb every mountain top, and and the, there might even be secret parts oh yeah, in the game it is. too. It, it's secret stuff in here. Yeah. Um, and, and the thing about Legend of Zelda: The Breath of the Wild, guys, is like you have to dress Link according to the climate. So if it's cold and he's not wearing the right proper clothes, he can die. That's exactly how it is on here too. So yeah. in certain types. I don't want to give it away, but like in certain parts of the level, he has to be wearing the right attire to right. get into secret worlds, so, basically. So they took kind of stuff from yeah. here and put it into there. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? So if if you are buying a Switch like right now, you're watching this video right now, and you're trying to make up your mind of buying a Nintendo Switch, these two games, these two games, you should buy day one. Like mm -hmm. when the Switch first dropped, this is the only game that was available. Seriously, this is the only game that was available when the Switch dropped. This is it. But now, they have a mass library of games, digital and on physical copies, that is coming. Um, NBA 2K18, I'm not really digging the basketball like that. So, that is one that I won't buy. WWE 2K18, I do have for the PS4. It is coming out for the Switch. So I don't know... <laughs> Like, I don't know if I'm going to purchase a second copy of WWE for the Switch. I don't know, man. Because I got a lot of friends that want me to buy it for Xbox One X. So, if they find out I bought it for the Switch, I don't know, man. We'll we'll see. Because I really don't want to spend too much money on WWE. I already bought the Cena edition. You guys seen the unboxing of that. If you guys haven't checked it out, it's below in the other videos. You guys can check that out. But, um... I don't know. The Switch is a good console. I will buy it day one. I mean, for the holiday season, if you buy it for yourself, your significant other, nieces, nephews, make the purchase, man. Yeah, it's something, make it's the something they have. Make the purchase. It's nice. But remember, you making this purchase is, is an investment. 
Alright, it's an investment. It's gonna cost. It's not cheap, it's gonna cost what you got here. I might get one too. Hey, hey, get it. You should. Get it. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm I not mean, you're not going to be mad when you make no, the purchase. You're no. actually going to enjoy it. I'm not getting Something paid. Nice to have. Like, Nintendo is not paying us to do this at all. This is just a consumer review. And, like I said, this console, guys, this console is not going to be like the Wii U. It's not going to be like the Switch. Um, Nintendo can see what's selling and what's not selling. Yeah, because with, like, the Wii U, you couldn't no, take it with no, you. No. This time, like... If you want to go on a picnic, you can take your Switch with you and play the game while you're on your picnic, you know? Yeah, I turned it off. Like, I, I'm going to show you guys something real quick on here. Like, on the Nintendo eShop, the Nintendo eShop is equivalent to the PlayStation Store, um, the, the Microsoft Store, or Xbox. And it's cool also, like, if you want to go, like, if you want to go to, like, family's house, you don't have to take so much with you. Oh, this is definitely going with us for the holidays to your sisters. This right, because the kids can play, you know? Right, this is definitely... But, um, you know, when you have a big console, you have to take all of the stuff with it, like the console, oh, the controllers, yeah. the cords, everything. Really, all you need, you can take your cord with you to plug it in, oh, or yeah. you can take the dock to plug it and, in. And this thing here, like, when you pull the Joy-Cons off this, the screen itself is a kickstand on the back, and you just do a tabletop. Yeah. But I want to show you guys something real quick before we end this live stream. So, on the Nintendo eShop, right? Let me see. On the Nintendo eShop, this is blurry. Oh. <laughs> it's blurry. Oh, Okay, so if you go to the Nintendo eShop and click on Best Sellers, right, it, it's going to show you the top, let me see, the top 15 Best Seller games right now for this console, alright? You don't have to take my word for it. I'm sorry it's blurry, guys, but you see that number three, number three is Odyssey, um, number four is, Stu, is Stardew Valley, number one is Rocket League, I have Rocket League on, on, on PS4. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe coming at number 6. Skyrim is number 5. I never played Skyrim, but I think that's one of the games I'm going to get next, too. I never played Skyrim. I can play Uno. Yeah, Uno's on here. And number 9 is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild coming in at number 9. So this thing is constantly updating itself. Like, what are the top investment games on this console right now? So as you can see, it goes all the way through, like, 15. I'm sorry you guys can't see that that break, but yeah, it goes all the way up to 15 games, like 15 top games, and they actually came out with a Minecraft for the Switch. So I never really got into Minecraft, but that would actually probably be pretty cool. I might I, have to purchase that. I mean, for the Switch. I mean, Switch, yeah. yeah. I mean, you take that on the on the go, like when you just bored sitting in the car ride or going somewhere, pop in Minecraft and let your little mind come up with something crazy and build it in the world. <laughs> be pretty cool right. but i'm gonna end this uh review and unboxing video right here guys go out and pick up that nintendo switch all right i mean 299.99 is not that bad i mean if you want to save yourself a few dollars maybe check on amazon or ebay i have seen people selling them as a bundle with a bunch of accessories that they personally bought that they're just trying to get rid of everything at once so if you want to kind of jump head into it without spending any instrument out of pocket, maybe try like eBay and see who's selling a good bundle. Um, like I said, I got this for free, and I got that carrying case over there for free. A customer actually gave me the stuff because um, they were getting rid of their Nintendo Switch. I don't know why, but they were getting rid of it, so they told me I could have this controller and that carrying case. And like I said, that's a $20 case, just a $30 controller. So you do the math. That's like what? 50, 50 bucks right there. 50 bucks I just saved on two accessories. And honestly, I was going to buy one of those next. I was going to buy one of those. But lucky for me, like I said, a customer gave it to and me. And then, like, we got the neon 
right. Joy Cons because my coworker she co- wanted yeah. neon. Oh, well, she wanted, she wanted the one, the gray one, to match gray the, yeah, to match it. And my wife really wanted neon, so I was gonna go buy the neon one. Yeah, to and, have yeah, them. that's the thing. You can't buy Joy Con. You can't. She you, wanted to trade, so I said, why not? We'll just trade. And yo, guys, check this out though. Joy Cons are eighty dollars. That's more than my PS4 remote, which I need one of those too right now. Those were eighty bucks just for those Joy Cons alone, but they got some pretty cool colors, so you can customize this thing and make it your own i've seen somebody on youtube with a pair of neon um green ones yeah that'd be pretty cool with some neon rings we gotta hunt for those neon yeah because green, green and blue is my favorite color yeah we gotta hunt i for think the neon, neon red and then or yeah it's like a it's neon red, red. red and, blue. and the blue i like them mm-hmm. it makes it kind of look cool yeah, pretty cool really pretty cool pretty cool like i said you can mm-hmm. make it your own you don't have to walk around and have it all one color. I, I'm not gonna lie to you, the gray, the all gray going with the console was pretty cool, but you know, my wife wanted to add some pizzazz, some color to it, so we switched Joy-Con to one of my coworkers, and now we got all neon, so we probably gonna get some more Joy-Cons um, sometime soon, but like I said, as we buy accessories or anything um, new for the Nintendo Switch, I'll try to update you guys on the console, what everything is going good with it, if it's not going good, but Right now, I'm enjoying it. She's enjoying it. We mainly purchased this console really for her because, you know, she want to get back in the game. And I understand there's yeah. a lot of things that's on PlayStation 4, Xbox One that she does not like. I mean, she has purchased a couple games on Xbox One S. I went out and bought her uh, the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which she has not beaten yet because, like I said, work plays a factor into all that gaming stuff that I tell you guys about on live stream. Mm-hmm. But... We're going to try to get back into doing stuff that we normally do on this channel. We're going to introduce to you new stuff. Um, food reviews are going to slowly trickle back into the channel because I know you guys like the food reviews. Uh, we're probably going to try to hit up some new challenges. We're going to try to. Um, one of the challenges we're talking about was the one chip challenge. Uh, <laughs> uh, the last challenge we did or the last thing we did was the, the bean boozle. The bean boozle. That, that joke is disgusting. That, yeah. that was disgusting. But, um, like I said, I've been toying around with some ideas of what you guys possibly want to see on the channel. And, um, we're going to be doing that. Like I said, today we just wanted to come and do the Nintendo uh, Switch unboxing slash review. Let you guys know how we're liking it. Yo, what up, Trucker? Hey, hit me up on the Facebook, bro. Hit me up on Facebook. I sent you a message, but you never responded. Hit, hit me up on Facebook, man. But, um... Yeah, I just want to let you guys know what was up with the channel. Um, we put a pretty investment into the Nintendo Switch, a $300 investment in this bad boy, but it's worth it. All right, it's worth it. Oh, another thing I want to put in there before I end it. Right? See, I should have, I should have had me a spreadsheet. Um, another little gripe I have about the Nintendo Switch. Even though it is multiple consoles, a home console, portable, whatever thing you want to make it. Another gripe I have about it is. You can't do like a party chat. You know how you can do like an Xbox One S and PS4 getting a party with your friends and chat with them? I wish they would add that to the Nintendo Switch. Alright, alright, cool man. I wish they would add, they would add like a party chat feature to the Nintendo Switch, bro. Like, please. Nintendo, if you're listening, add a party chat. Party chat. Please. Play chat with your friends on Mario Odyssey. Right, right. I mean, not just on Mario Odyssey. I mean, do it with Mario Kart. I mean, that, True. that, that I game. I can see it with Mario Kart. Mario, Mario yeah. Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart need the party feature. WWE 2K18, whenever they release Well, can't that. you link up with people online and stuff on here itself with, yeah, like, different types of games? Yeah, yeah, I think you have to change, like, friend codes or something. Um, yeah. Because I got a few friends with a Nintendo Switch, so I think you have to, like, trade like, a friend code or something and then yeah. you can link up with that person. But with Mario Kart 8 been on there, uh, NBA 2K18 been on there, WWE is about to drop on that. We need party chat feature, man. I mean, I want to talk trash to people while I'm kicking their butt. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's just me. I want to talk trash. But anyway, if you guys want to know any more about the Nintendo Switch or about the accessories, make sure you leave a comment down below, either for myself or for Emily. We will try to respond to you when we can. Um, we probably will have another review or uh, unboxing um, coming up probably, what, 
maybe a week. Maybe a week. I'm thinking. Maybe a week or so. Yeah. Just follow me on Twitter, guys. Follow me at Mr. John Bradley on Twitter, and I'll let you know what's coming up to the channel. Um, but that's the way we're gonna end it. Um, I do have another live stream planned after this one. I'm gonna be playing some UFC uh, three beta. Uh, why is it still available? I want to check out the UFC three beta because I might actually pre-order it. I don't know. But um, check me out on that. And uh, got anything you want to add before we get out of here? No. No. Well, guys, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to turn the notifications on. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. All right? Peace. Peace.